Well, greetings, everybody. Today is Friday, November 4th, and it's a happy day. Somebody out here has prayed for wonderful weather, 68, 69 degrees. We are in Western Massachusetts. Remember the video from Stockbridge at Divine Mercy Shrine? Well, a little bit of a day trip down from the Shrine Way in front of Red Lion Inn at uh, one of uh, the major intersections in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. So greetings to you. Thank you to whoever it was who prayed for such lovely weather that we've been having lately. Usually during election season, don't worry, silly season is almost coming to an end with the elections. But usually during election season, election day, the weather is miserable. We're tired of the signs, tired of all of the campaigning. So oh, what a joy this is. I would like to talk today and reflect on you about finding God's will in the spirit of St. Francis de Sales. We have to walk with the saints. I asked someone recently, what do you think God's will might be for you? And the man said, I think God's will would be to win the Powerball jackpot, $1.5 billion. I said, good luck to you. I hope you're the big winner. Hope it really works out well. <laughs> and then another person said, well, you know the old saying, when there's a will, there's a way? I said, yes. This person told me, well, when there's a will, there's a family. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Life is more than about money. We are far, far greater than any money that we could bring in for a job or money that we may receive as remuneration. Sometimes in life we value our being not for who we are, but rather what we can do or what we can produce. Are you aware though, God does not see it that way. God does not value you or me based on how much money we have or don't have or what kind of job we may have or car. First, what is our vocation in God? Now you may be inclined to say as a first response, my vocation is to be a nurse, or my vocation is to be an auto mechanic or an accountant. And I will say to you, I'm glad you have a wonderful job, but vocation is far more than your employment. Your vocation is your calling from God for who you are, not for what you do or not what kind of check or bi-weekly check you could bring home. What you are in God's sight is far more than any kind of tangible item we can put our finger on. Who are we before God? And what is God's will for us? To follow Him, to seek His will, and to implement His vision in the course of our days. And how do we do that? We take up our crosses like Jesus. In life, there will be suffering from time to time, but that we should not be afraid of that suffering. I'll have to pause for a moment while the truck goes by. I'm on a loud corner, everybody. <laughs> but life is more than just about the suffering that we endure because there's nothing we can do to avoid that. Finding God's will is to accept what God has given us as the plan of our lives. And from time to time, we may be very surprised that finding God's will is a discovery in life that may lead us down very, very different paths, different paths than we have been used to. Not so much about college or initial plans, but sometimes it's those detours I'm interested in. Finding God's will for you is often found on the detour of life. Those little off-roads that we had not planned were ever going to be part of the journey. Way more than what we studied in college or way more than who we thought we would work for and what we would do. It's who we are in God's sight. To be a disciple is a hard thing these days. It's easy to follow the path of money or the path of success as God. And many people, frankly, create their wealth or their success as a god. That I follow the god of the US dollar. Or my god is gambling. Somebody once told me that. Ah, my god is gambling. How I love going to play. Now that's okay if you love to play cards or the slots, but you must not make that your, the apex of uh, your life's journey. 
It's only uh, something that God gives us as a pastime or free time, but we must remember that finding God's will is the ultimate path and discovery of life. So whether at the Red Lion Inn and traveling back to Albany very soon, it's been a wonderful excursion, but I pray that this journey, the journey of life, is a wonderful discovery of God's immense energy for you. And God does have a plan for you. Do not forget that. I hope you find great joy and peace in your life and you keep praying for that nice weather in the month of November. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Take good care, everybody. God's peace be with you and please pray for me and I certainly will pray for you along the way. Take good care. Chang.